What's going on everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. I'm coming at you right now with a new video. Um, this is kind of a re-up, I guess, but it's the um, Griffin Reveal Case Review in HD with the Jealous Skins back on it. So the reason why I really like this case, this is one of the one of the cases that I found that I thought was pretty much perfect for me. Um, this is Griffin's take on a hybrid case, meaning that it, it has um, both um, hard plastic coverage as well as some soft plastic coverage. So it's got be the best of both worlds. Um, where you start seeing the soft, like silicone plastic come into play is, when, is for drop protection, basically. So the differences between hard cases and soft cases are pretty much, you know, you've got one that's really sturdy um, scratch protection such as the uh, in-case slider. This offers some really good scratch protection and overall coverage of your phone. However, if you were to drop this thing, I mean, this is some hard plastic, it will protect it. And I did drop my um, 3G with this phone, as you can see right there, it took a fat chunk out of it. Landed like this, but at the same time, it didn't it didn't mess my phone up at all. It didn't come out or anything when it, when it um, upon impact, you know, it didn't bust apart. But it did hit the ground pretty hard and, you know, as far as you know, internals of your phone, it kind it could mess up the mechanisms inside having a hard case. With that said, um, now with soft cases, I don't really have one right now, but you know they're good for for uh, overall protection of your phone, and they're really good if you drop your phone because if you drop it, that sh you know that rubber is going to take most of the hit, and it'll kind of just bounce around. Now. Companies are now getting into what they call hybrid cases, where they're t taking best of both worlds. You know, you got the spec candy shell, the in-case frame case, the Griffin reveal case, and a slew of other cases out there that are kind of all adapting this hybrid technique. But in my opinion, Griffin has done it in a more unique and practical way versus any other of the companies. The only one complaint I have about this case is this bottom part right here. There is no bottom coverage or protection for the bottom bottom bezel. As you can see, it just kind of comes up to the bottom of the phone like that, and that's it. It leaves the whole bottom open, which for me is fine because 95% of the time, that's just a random statistic, but for some reason I feel like whenever I've dropped my phone in this case, it's always landed on a corner. Oh. It's always either landed on a corner or just kind of landed flat. Now this, f dang. Now this case does have a really small lay on the table design. It's, you know, very, very, I mean, it's there, but barely there. Um, um, and different than the in-case frame case, um, the in-case frame case does the hybrid thing really, really well, but my only complaint about that case is that where the um, sides, where the rubber is, it's all rubber. The in-case, or this Griffin Reveal case kind of goes the extra mile by taking the entire, you know, where the plastic backing is and wraps it around up to the very part of the bezel right here so that rubber comes all the way up it's equivalent to coming up to where that bezel starts meeting the top of the phone but this still has a lay on the table design um, the cutouts are very very solid this top piece my another complaint I do have about this case is that Griffin should have gone the extra mile by um, wrapping it like they did around the sides here having the plastic come over the sides here they should have done it with the top I feel like because the top is very flimsy is very rubbery and for those that put their phone in their back pocket or even in their pocket in general this tends to kind of snag and lift up a little bit and over time that tends to stretch out I think hasn't really stretched out on me but I can see that being a problem for others in the future um, but let's go ahead and get into this you know that's my general overview of the differences between the two cases what hybrid cases are um, so let's just kind of get into this. Let's kind of follow the case around real quick here. And we've got the top button right there, which is covered by the silicone, as well as the sides, the volume rockers are covered as well. It's got a nice, um, nice tight cutout for the um, ring or vibrate switch, which I really like. Some may complain about that because they say it's kind of hard to get in there with your fingernail, but for me, I kind of like that look. And um, another really cool thing is that since the insides of these are rubber, it kind of like pre creates a little seal to where um, dust doesn't really get in the phone, you know, like it, it creates a nice little rubbery shield, kind of like a weather strip in your car, you know, that kind of same concept. Um, 
the headphone port is nicely cut out. It's kind of recessed a little bit, kind of kind of concaves in like that, creating a nice little look for the phone, very clean. Um, so let's just go ahead and put this in. As you can tell, I've been using this case a lot because it has a lot of scratches on the back, but rather be than my case and my phone, right? Let's see where my macro setting is set to. It's pretty close, so. Okay, now you put this case in by doing the button sides first and just snapping it in. Very easy. Uh, you don't need to massage it or anything. Everything lines up right on the right on the first take there. Look at that camera button or camera button camera cut out there. It's very nice, very very nice. And as you guys can see, that looks stinking awesome with the um, the in or the uh, jello skins on there. Because here's what I'm looking at. With the jello skins, you can everything kind of stops up to the top here. Let's take this off real quick. When you have the jello skins on there, the decal doesn't doesn't exactly cover the entire phone. It just kind of covers the back and leaves a gap on the top here as well as on the bottom here. Now, with this case, and I'm really glad I'm doing this now because I probably wouldn't have thought of this, about this anyway, but with this case on, it completely covers that little gap that the phone has between the jealous skin and the, you know, the, the frame of the phone, and it looks super super clean I mean that looks just like a big decal on the back of the phone and it's coming through nicely there's no watermark effect as you can tell I'm pushing there's no it's not touching the phone at all and even if it is it's not like it's sticking you know that's how you get the watermark watermark effect I know with the bodyguards and the invisible shield you do get the body the um, watermark effect because things are sticking to the phone the back of this case and it's not happening at all right now and I am super juiced and I'm definitely gonna be rocking this case with this jello skin because it's clear you can see the back of the jello skin you get to see the cool ass print nice little logo and it covers all the gaps that the, that the jello skin doesn't cover so this is a deadly combination um, there are some of you out there that were expressing some concerns about the bottom part not being covered but you know I assure you I mean that's not that big of a deal to be honest um, it would be nice to see Griffin kind of implement what the spec candy shell does and that you know, you do get the bottom protection with the candy shell. However, if Griffin is watching this and they do decide to do that, please don't leave a big fat gappy cutout, you know, pay attention please, like follow the contours of the speaker and the, and the dock connection, you know, please, like in case does. That will be, you'll have a solid case. If you guys can implement, if you're watching this, this same exact case, extend this hard plastic bag up to the front so it doesn't lose a sag and also bo provide some bottom protection and do the nice contoured cutouts, then I swear you guys will have a case that everybody will go to because a lot of people are looking at this case and are really liking it. I myself, um, it's solid protection. You know, I feel I feel pretty good dropping this phone from a good distance. You know, I'm not really worried about it breaking, it's scratching. These sides are since they are rubber, it's taken you know taken a lot of the hit. So I mean, here it is, you guys. This is the review of the. Griffin reveal case alongside the Jello Skins decals and it is a deadly deadly combination and if you guys are interested in that you should definitely get it also if you have any other comments or concerns please PM me leave a comment I will get back to you alright this is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog checking out of here peace